My name is Tori Wylam and we're from Yakima. Ireland is a spunky, strong-willed three-year-old. November 27th was her third birthday. It was that weekend that we started to see things that were unusual. Slowly and surely throughout the month, she started losing coordination on her left side and she started having trouble using her left hand. A couple days before Christmas, she was just was screaming, so desperate in pain, inconsolable. And so we took her to the emergency room. They had her do a series of tests and one of those was to touch her nose and then reach out and touch the doctor's finger. And the right hand, she did that effortlessly. The left hand, her hand just began to sway and I think the air just left the room. And over the course of that weekend, she started dragging her left leg, couldn't use her left hand at all, and then ultimately her left side of her face began to droop. New Year's Eve night, my husband awoke to her screaming and trembling, and she was almost unable to speak. And at that moment, we decided to take her to Seattle Children's Hospital to the emergency room. So we jumped in the car and drove through a snowstorm and got her there. We were all in the emergency room, and the doctor asked, what's your worst fear? I uttered that our biggest fear was a brain tumor. She looked at us and said, ours too. Another hour passed by and the doctor came back and uh, put the CT scan on the board and there was a big mass in her brain. And you could look at it and you know there was something wrong with that picture. They estimated that it was roughly 25% of her total brain mass not knowing if that was malignant or benign, not knowing if it was in a place that they would be able to remove it, knowing really nothing other than something was horribly wrong. It was just like a moment I can't even put into words. The world stopped for us. My wife and I walked out and we basically, you know, we cried together and we made, we made the phone calls to our family to let them know that our daughter had a brain tumor. Um, just a flood of emotions. When we found out that she had a tumor, we went straight to the ICU. After surgery, we met with the doctors and the doctors said, you know, we were able to get the whole tumor out. Unfortunately, after they removed the tumor, they diagnosed her with brain cancer. And that's when we were told that we would have to stay here for the next eight months. My wife and I were, we were staying at hotels. When we heard about the Ronald McDonald House, we were calling every day because it was catered to kids that are going through either cancer or, or some diagnosis. Ronald McDonald offered the kind of environment for a kid that going through something like this, you just don't find other places. So we continued to call and we were so thankful that in late January, they were able to open a room for us and we were able to move in. Ronald McDonald House has helped our family tremendously. It really became home for us. When we walked into our room, it was like a sigh of relief, and it actually became a sanctuary to our family, which I would have never predicted that happening. And we would come home after a long day of appointments, and there was food already prepared for us and volunteers that gave their time and their effort just to serve and to bless families like ours. The time and the energy that that saved us as parents of a sick child, you just can't, you can't put that into words. Ireland's looking great and her outlook looks very, very promising. She finished uh, her last of 30 radiation treatments and as of now she's cancer free. And hopefully we'll be starting preschool in the fall and we pray that she'll go on to live a long life. I am most grateful for people that we've met, friendships, people at the desk at Ronald McDonald, people serving dinner. I was told how much of this place is supported by donations. When you're donating to Ronald McDonald House, it's going somewhere. You never know until you're in that moment of desperation and you need a place to stay and you need somewhere that's close to the hospital. Ronald McDonald just opens their doors to those families. We are so grateful and so thankful for Ronald McDonald House. And I can't imagine the situation we'd be in if there wasn't a Ronald McDonald House for our family. I never thought in a million years my daughter would have cancer, and she did have cancer. And Ronald McDonald opened up their doors to my family and helped us out in a desperate time of need. 
you guys have changed our lives and you've carried us through this journey. I just thank you for playing a part in Ireland's life and just showing her, teaching her about compassion. There is no doubt that her time here with this staff and the residents of Ronald McDonald will change her life and make her a better person.